Now let's study join. So we know that like multiple joins exist in the system. So join would be either inner join or outer join. This outer join can also be of type, let's say left outer or right outer join. Till now, maybe in a normal SAP ERP system where the version might not be over and above 7.4, we were able to use the outer join, but the left outer join was possible and which was something which we are using. But a right outer join was something which was not possible uh, till date, but which is now uh, part of the CDS. So this might be right outer join might be something which we can consider as uh, an additional feature of using or maybe a kind of uh, a feature which we can use as part of the CDS or we can say the motivation of using a particular CDS if you want to go with the right outer join. Second thing which we can uh, talk about over here is how many maximum number of joins. So these are kind of all theoretical stuff, maximum joins we can add. Uh, so as per certain blogs, SAP says uh, maximum joins we can incorporate in a particular uh, view which we are studying, uh, developing till certain days it was uh, 31 joints which we can incorporate and maybe 31 joints is more than enough if you want to incorporate or design any kind of complex development, right? So 31 joints would be more than enough then, then we can uh, utilize those to uh, do any sort of development. Maybe in future SAP might increase that particular capability and come up with certain uh, uh, more range and we can, we might be able to utilize it. But in a regular development, if you see, there might be maximum five to seven tables you might have joined uh, till date uh, to come up with the output of any of the existing development you might have done already there. Okay. So to develop a particular CS with a join, all we have to do is let's say if I go over here, right click, okay, I go in a new, click on other, and I can click on data definition because I want to do the data definition over here. Okay. So over here, let's say that EO, V with joints. Okay. So we will be selecting a TR going forward. Okay. So if you see over here, there is an option called define view with joins. So we would be selecting this particular option, clicking on finish, and SAP would be suggesting as a particular template. So this template selection is of course optional. If you want to have some code already written and uh, suggested by SAP, then you can use it. And if you are very comfortable by your own template, because time by time while doing a development, uh, we as a developer start developing our own template the way of coding methodology that we actually love to uh, the way we actually love to develop. So if you are uh, ready with those kind of templates, then you can directly untake that particular use the selected template and you can get a blank screen. Okay. So use the um, particular selected template if you want it. So we already have a particular view already developed. In this particular view, if you see, we have the same sort of annotation. Now over here, uh, let's join particular two tables, let's say EKQO and uh, over here, let's say I want to join uh, EKPO. So if you specify EKQO and EKPO over here, then you would be able to uh, see that like whatever changes we are doing over here, the elements and all the stuff are already being changed over here. I can join this table based on this particular two. Why I am using left outer join over here? Firstly, to show an example of left outer join for sure. Secondly, there can be a purchase order in the system for which um, still any purchase order line hasn't been added. So just wanted to show that like it is also coming and reflecting on our uh, output data. I am just using a particular left outer join over here. Okay. Next thing, let's study. Uh, okay. Uh, assume we have uh, a particular system in which uh, we want to display both the data from both the tables. How we would be doing is like uh, to make the life more easier, we, we might be using as EH or we can specify as EL. So if we are specifying as EH and EL, we can directly use it. Okay. So 
we can specify it as whatever we are specifying as as something it is called alias that's what we were using as part of ABAP2 we can directly specify let's say key uh, we can say es.ebln that is a convention of specifying something at uh, and then one more thing uh, we can uh, specify the second key from and we can specify let's say okay but one more thing over to specify over here what if we are not developing a cds and we are developing something at particular abap level uh, at particular s11 level so let's kind of develop the same thing uh, let's say define a sent um, that a custom table to do the development i just want to uh, highlight you one thing that like whatever development or some short of development rules which we will be following over here okay let's see i specify mandate over here i specify ebln over here what if i specify bukrs over here and it's not a key and i specify a eblp over here and it's a key let's keep it as local object because we don't want to and if you delete it anywhere look the key is already defined field eblp can't be a key why it can't be a key because if you see what as per sap standard guidelines till date it's not like this is something which sap is coming up very new but whenever sap erp or normal wizard based development are also there sap doesn't suggest or allow to add any key if you already define a bunch of key over here you are specifying a non key parameter in between then you can't specify key parameter again if you want to specify a particular parameter as a key all you have to do is you have to specify it continuously okay so this is a kind of one of the base rule okay so this particular base rule is also followed while developing any join so if i want to specify this particular view like this he must be continue uh, contiguous and start at the first position so whatever keys you want to specify it should be just uh, at the start of the position that is the base rule which was there as part of the earlier uh, sap development also and this also part whenever uh, even though the cds are coming into market so the same rule will apply whenever you are uh, developing a particular uh, cds uh, um, as that of the table or earlier views which were defined earlier fine so this is one of the thing we should be keeping in mind not while defining any joins also but whenever you are defining a particular view uh, sample view from a single project and uh, table projection also at that time also the key should be continuous you can't specify one key and another non key parameter and then again a key parameter now we can specify some let's say so if we activate this particular view as you can see a database view will also get generated for that particular view over here so this is how it will get generated uh, one more thing if you see how the system is actually taking it so if you go to a show sql create statement the system is also creating a view create view with left outer join and uh, it is specifying the on parameter now let's use one more thing let's say rather than left outer join i am just specifying a join over here let's activate it and 
and show SQL create statement. So okay. So um okay. So yeah. Uh, over here, if you see, um, whenever we are specifying only join, the default join, which actually SAP automatically picked is inner join. So if you want to specify inner join, you can either specify inner join or you can directly specify join. And that particular join will be taken as an inner join to have an optimal view, uh, optimal utilization of memory parameters. And that is why if you want to specify inner join, the default join keyword will also work. Okay. Uh, one more thing, if you see over here, we have specified something called CDS views with, with parameter. So this was the template in which CDS view was parameter with there, but it doesn't, it, it was not carrying any kind of join. And uh, this particular join table is not having any sort of parameter, but it doesn't mean we can't have a parameter in a tape, uh, view with join. We can directly specify a particular parameters kind of section in join uh, in a particular view which is ultimately carrying uh, joins also so it is all our default template which sap is providing but if you want to uh, pipe multiple templates then it is also possible so if you see over here i am specifying a width parameter which was not part of the system earlier i am just specifying where and uh, over here i can specify BUKRS as it is a norm uh, single parameter and available in only EKKO table, I can directly use it like colon and I BUKRS. Okay, might be the child table is also enhanced with a BUKRS parameter, hence it is asking me to make it unique. Okay, so if you see uh, the template which I actually derived was a template with only joins. It was not having any parameter, but I can pipe multiple uh, things by adding my code locally. So what I did was I just uh, added the code to uh, have a parameter inside uh, available over here and I can use that particular parameter and I can add the parameter for multiple scenarios. So I can say Metner and its type would be let's say So this is how straightforward it would be. So if the, you are using any sort of parameter which is kind of available in both the tables, you have to use the alias. Or if you are not specifying alias, you have to use the table name over here just to make the identification of that particular column easy for the system or you have to distinguish which particular column you would, you would like to put a where condition on. And you can directly use the input parameter by using dollar parameters or the column and the name of the parameter value. So. Uh, and once you have this particular system ready, you can directly activate it and consume in your particular uh, system and which would be that straightforward. Okay. So if you see it now takes a particular input EW01 and Metner field I am not available. I don't have available till now, so let's just comment this out because I have to otherwise select. And yeah, the comment portion over here won't work with a kind of a single uh, one time double inverted comma that we were using earlier like this. It is not valid. We have to use double slash over here. Like any kind of UI development whenever you are using or any kind of any sort of development you are doing in Eclipse, how we usually specify the comment. So this is how we do it, right? Okay. So we can directly open with data preview EW01 and we have all the data. And if you see over here, we have the data of whatever parameter we have specified. We can change it, we can see the SQL parameters select the column, apply filter, and any sort of operation we want to do over here. Okay, so this is 